Hello there everybody. Now at the moment I'm in uh, an amazing place. It's Thai Ni Temple in the Angkor Wat uh, Temple area in Siem Reap, Cambodia. And this is one of the lesser known temples in the area, Thai Ni Temple. I had to go up a dirt track on my motorbike to get here and one of the really good things about that is there's nobody else here. It's really, really quiet. You can just hear the birds and see the trees growing through the temple. Very, very peaceful, which is unusual because it's absolutely packed with, tour with tourists in most of these places. Now here is a beautiful, beautiful figurine. You can see her uh, lovely carving. And I talked to a guide earlier and he explained to me that the reason why there are so many beautiful, um, I guess, semi-naked women dancing on the temples is that they were originally built as Hindu temples. And the Buddhists came and trashed them and destroyed a lot of the Hindu artwork and took them over. And then the Hindus came again and did the same thing to the Buddhist things and then of course the Buddhists turned up again so so that you know currently it's a Buddhist country so the temples are built by the Hindus and they've gone backwards and forwards really and obviously been added to and had all sorts of magical things <laughs> changed and chopped up in the meantime now one of the things I really love about this is the yonis so the yoni and the lingam obviously is the the Hindu uh, terms for the male and female reproductive organs. So you can see here, here we are, these are some yoni, yonis that have been uh, destroyed, uh, trashed really. So they were altars and they're now just lying with these bricks on the ground. Here's a really nice yoni. Um, this is, you can see the vulva and the little spout that comes down the bottom here. Oh, where's the camera on that? So what would have happened is there would have been a really big lingam stone on the top of that and water was poured on top of the lingam and it flowed down into the yoni and then out of the spout. The bottom of her, her vaginal lips creating sacred, beautiful, magical yoni water. Um, and I've just been chatting to a tour guide and he said to me that the lingams were in three pieces so the bottom of the lingam represented Brahma the creator the middle represented Vishnu who holds the world in continuum and uh, the head of the penis uh, represented Shiva who is the destroyer so quite fascinating here um, yeah I'm enjoying this temple because there's a lot more Hindu bits in it. It's nice and lovely to be in the Buddhist temples as well, but there's so many of them and they're so decorated actually. All the ancient Buddhist statues have been decorated with shiny silks and <laughs> lovely bits. It's nice to be somewhere that's just completely natural and fallen down and ruined and not had anyone playing with it. So yes, that is... Um Tarpe, I think it's pronounced. I'm not 100% sure about that. Tarpe Temple in Angawat.